What's up, YouTube? Team Movies here. It's Tuesday. That means it's time for my um for my DVD Talk Tuesday segment. All right. First up, that's available um to own today is Brightburn, which is of course the uh, superhero uh like this like the horror film that's like um a Superman, but you know a Superman was a bad guy and all. This was really creepy. I mean, it was pretty gory at times. You know, I thought the kid was great. You know, you also had Elizabeth Banks. Uh, it was, you know, produced by uh, James Gunn, so that was pretty cool too. I really, I really sort of like Brightburn, and I'm hoping we get that sequel because I'll love to see another one of those. Okay. Now, also available on DVD and Blu-ray today. Is a not so good film, and that is The Hustle, which is the remake of Dirty Ron Scoundrels. Now, now The Hustle is awful. I thought this movie just sunk. It wasn't that much funny. Uh, you know the cam, like the chemistry between uh between Halfway and a uh, Robert Wilson was okay, but that's Pretty much it. This movie just it really freaked and yeah, definitely not a good film. I mean, definitely the hustle is probably right now in my top ten worst movies of the year so far. Like it's it's that awful. So yeah. Anyway, also out now is a dog's journey, which is of course the sequel to 2017's A Dog's Purpose. Now, I got to, Now, I really quite enjoyed A Dog's Journey. I, you know, I thought A Dog's Journey was, you know, pretty cute. It was charming, sad, like, really sad. And, of course, you had uh, Josh Gad, you know, returning as the, uh, returning as the uh, dog voice. Uh, you had Dennis Quaid was great in this. Uh, Mark Helgenberger, um... Pretty good, uh, decent um, cast was in this. And, oh, not to mention Betty Gilpin from a Glow fame. She was great in this too. I mean, if you guys haven't seen Dork's Journey, go check it out. But granted, you're going to need some tissues while you're watching this. Alright. Also available now is The Sun is Also a Star. Which, sad to say, this movie was kind of disappointing. No, I quite enjoyed the trailer. I thought the trailer was pretty decent. You know, it had uh, Yaha Shahid from uh, Grownish and Blackish fame. You know, she was fine in the movie and all. And I thought uh, the dude from Riverdale, Charles Melton, I thought he was pretty good too. But this movie was just flat out boring. Uh, you know, the uh, characters wasn't all that interesting, to be honest with you. I mean, they're, you know, uh, Shahidi and uh, Melton's chemistry was good. Don't get me wrong there. But just the characters I didn't really care much for, and, you know, the film, like I said, was flat out boring, and I really, frankly, I really couldn't get into this movie at all. And it is based on a, a YA novel, so there's that too, but, uh, but yeah, Skip the Sun is also a star, it's not that good of a film. Also available uh, today is the documentary titled The Biggest Slow Farm, which I haven't really seen yet, but I heard some really good stuff about it. Where, like, it's a documentary about um, this real-life couple who, who pretty much builds a farm in their backyard. And, hey, building a farm in your uh, hometown, why not? That's pretty cool there. And, uh, yeah, I haven't, like I said, I haven't seen the documentary, so I can't really comment on the film myself. But, uh, I'll, I'll probably give this one a shot down the line. Uh, there's also a film called The Tomorrow Man, um, that just got released with stars, uh, John Lithgow and, uh, Blythe Danner. I mean, I like them. But it's where, uh, John Lithgow, um, he plays this character named Ed Hemsler, who pretty much, um obsesses about the uh, future and all, and he, like, spends most of his, uh, pretty much he spends most of his, uh, retirement stocking up and preparing for a, uh, possible natural or, uh, man-made 
a uh, global capital spare. And so, like, he ends up meeting this uh, woman at the grocery store, played by a uh, black dinner, and they, of course, you know, falls in love. So, but uh, I haven't really seen the movie yet, so I can't really comment on the on the film itself because they're really, because you know, they're really uh, playing where, because they're really playing anywhere um, around me or anything. But uh, I'll probably give this one a shot, maybe somewhere down the line. I mean, it does have Blythe Danner and John Lithgow, and I do like those actors, so I'll. So maybe one of these days I'll give it a shot, but uh, we'll see. Alright. Also available now is Arrow Season 7. Now, of course, um, Arrow is ending its run after uh, eight seasons. So, uh,. Yeah, but uh, Season 7 is available now on DVD, and yeah, I really quite like uh, Arrow Season 7. I mean, you know, Arrow is a bit of a hit-and-miss show, but I really think it's a decent show. You know, uh, Steve Mel is great as Arrow. I uh, really like the other cast members. So, uh, yeah, Arrow's pretty good. Uh, there's also um, American Gods Season 2, which I really quite like Season 1. Was a little disappointed by Season 2. I don't know, maybe it's because the, uh, it did have some, uh, drama around it, so maybe that could be why it was not all that good. But, uh, yeah, I really was quite disappointed with Season 2. But I'll probably still give Season 3 a go, which, um, Season 3 is also coming next year, I'm guessing. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, Ian McShane is also the best part in this, in this series, by the way. Like, shout out to Ian McShane. He's, I think he's great on the show. Anyway. Uh, there's also Blue Bloods Season 9, which I've seen Blue Bloods um, before. It's a cool show, you know, uh, Donnie Wahlberg, uh, Tom Selleck. Not to mention, I met Donnie Wahlberg on the set of Blue Bloods one time, so that's pretty cool too. So, uh, yeah, for any Blue Bloods fans, Season 9 is available now. Uh, there's also Season 6 of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Thank God uh, NBC picked it up, because... No, I really like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and I was still bummed when uh, Fox canceled it. But you know, I'm really glad that. Um, but I am really glad that uh, you know NBC uh, ended up picking up because I, I think the show is really funny. And season six, I really, I really quite like season six, and looking forward for season seven. But I'm guessing that won't premiere until like January, I'm thinking. But uh, anyway, also on DVD and Blu-ray, there's Iron Sky: The Coming Race, which I did not even bar checking out, because it looked awful, I mean, you know, if, if you guys want to see, uh, you know, Hitler riding a T-Rex, this is probably a movie for you, like, in, in the trailer, it literally features Hitler riding a T-Rex, I, I thought I seen it all in any films, but, uh, yeah, and so, yeah, Iron Sky Coming Race, I'm probably not coming to see that movie anytime soon, so, yeah. Oh, not to mention it has uh, Oscar-winning actor Tom Green in it. So, he's not really an Oscar-winning actor, but he's a Razzie Award-winning actor for uh, for Frey Got Fingered, but uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, there's also season one of Mayans uh, MC, which is, a, of course, a spinoff of uh, Sons of Anarchy. Now, I really quite like uh, Mayans. I thought it was a decent show. And, of course, season two premieres, like, uh, I think next month, if I'm not mistaken. So, for all you fans of Mayans MC, good news, season one is available today. Alright. Now, there are some other shows um, that's available now. Like, there's also NCIS New Orleans season five, which I watch NCIS once in a while. It's, it's an okay show. Uh, SWAT season two. Which, I mean, you got Shamar Moore and SWAT, so, hey. Um, and, of course, Walking Dead's uh, Season 9, which, of course, Season 10's coming out. I can't remember when Season 10's coming out, but, uh, anyway. Yeah, well, I mean, boy, they're, they're up to Season 10. Oh, jeez. Crazy to believe that Walking Dead's been on the air this long. But, uh, anyway. Yeah, so for all you Walking Dead fans, good news. Season 9 is available now, so, yeah. But, uh, anyway, let me leave it to you guys. Uh, which of these are you, you know, interested in owning or renting or, or anything? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is your C-Movie, sign off.